Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today is the day. It's the last prototype coming to Boom Beach. The last new prototype from the last, or the last couple updates. Um, it, it's been fun. Out of the all the new prototypes added, I gotta say, I, my favorite might be the Flotsam, which is what I'm gonna show you today. All troops versus the flot Sam we're gonna do a Himmerman strikes back video for you guys tomorrow so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can see that video because that video is going to be crazy because the flawed Sam is insane okay so we're doing all troops versus the flot Sam here's the deal since this prototype depends on the troops or the troops taking down the building I'm not going to flare to the headquarters. Now, the missiles from the Flotsam deal splash damage, but just look at this, guys. The damage it deals. It deals constant damage inside the range. I believe at the top level of the Flotsam it deals... I'm just going to look so I don't mess it up, but I think it's like 3,000 damage on your troops, which is crazy. Now, in a normal... Yeah, 3,000. In a normal battle, it's honestly not going to help you too much because I don't feel like anyone is going to be that stupid to let their troops just take down the flot, Sam. I think they'll kind of plan around your base and uh, figure out a way to take it down anyway. Um, or worse yet, yeah, just use a smoky combination because that's what you can do using the flot, Sam. Now, I'm excited to see how well the heavies do against this. You'll see the missiles are actually pretty strong. It's like a... Oh, come on. Please be a one. No, I was like, please be a one-shot kill, guys. But it wasn't. But look at this. I don't think we'll win, but it will be... We'll take down quite a few. And there's a couple left, and I don't know if we'll be able to take down the core. It is a time battle. Um, oh, it's, it's obviously going to go down, so we'll just... Uh, this jump ahead for you guys i wonder if you have a building defensive damage statue like a blue ice statue if it will increase the damage dealt by the bomb if any of you guys know please let me know down below um because at my level of heavies maxed out heavies and my level of or my hp troop hp boost it takes three bombs to take down uh my heavies so three flawed sams basically to take down my heavies so you know it, it's fine zukas are not gonna win this zukas are gonna die so fast zukas are powerful but um they're not gonna take it down if i flare to the headquarters it would be a different story possible victory but um just way too much damage guys it's just the splash it deals is crazy and plus these missiles are they fire so fast, and I'm wondering if they fire under smoke. I'm going to test it out after the video, or should I just test it now? We're just going to test it now. It's going to be really quick. We'll drop a smoke down, we'll drop some critters down, and we'll see if they take it out. No, they do not. Okay, so the flawed Sams do not work under smoke like the CMOS or the microwavers, but um, yeah, that was good to test because it's now like next Mega Crab, I'll... I'll know for certain so now that we have all of these new prototypes added to the game we have what 10 or 12 prototypes in boom beach warriors aren't gonna win either this is awesome guys a lot of troops are gonna lose to these flawed sams um, now that we have all these new prototypes I'm gonna be excited to see kind of what the um, what the cycle is gonna be like are they gonna balance it out so each prototype comes out for about the same amount of time um, so it's just like a cycle or is it going to be how like some prototypes are going to be more rare than other prototypes and some prototypes like the shield generator would be in game like all the time just because they need it to balance the leaderboards so it's going to be excited to I'm going to I'm very excited to see like how it's all going oops that was a mistake how it's all going to work but um yeah i'm hyped I, I i just remembered i did this on my confusion account i dropped down these flot sams so i'll still try to get the hammerman strikes back video but it's gonna come out tomorrow for you guys anyway that's that's what i 
said earlier today. So the tanks were not in range of the last two flawed Sams. So the tanks do defeat the base. So, so far we have heaviest and we have tanks. So if I'm seeing a trend, it's high HP troops. And you could have kind of guessed that at the beginning of the testing video, how high uh, HP troops will be able to take it out fairly easily. So now we have the medics. Now the medics are gonna be fun to do. We're gonna use bullet energy drink because uh, that's how I decided I'm gonna do this series for now on, even though it's going to be the last episode for a while. I'm not anticipating a new prototype anytime soon, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Ah, why do I keep pressing challenge? Um, yeah, so we're gonna use our medics to heal up our beloved bullet here energy drink and we'll see if bullet can take down the base using the help of all of my medics all we need to see here is if all the medics can keep him somewhat healed up and here we go guys I'm guessing the medics will be one shot oh they're staying in oh nope they all walked in <laughs> okay <laughs> now the nice thing about bullet is bullet truncates damage over a certain amount so even though the bomb dealt 3,000 damage bullet does not take that much damage bullet only takes because of its passive ability he takes a lot less damage which is very very nice now we have to rely on his energy drink to heal him back up to take down the base it's gonna be close guys I'm rooting for bullet we'll see if our uh, medic team medic and hero team will be able to take down the base for the first time. It's gonna be close, but it looks like it is a victory. So the medics able to pull off a victory. Very, very nice. You'll see the flot sams explode at the end of the battle. I wonder if, if troops die when it explodes, if it deals or if it counts as a troop loss. Cause if it does, if you place them around your core and someone does a smoky combination, they blow up after all the buildings are destroyed and you get to kill their troops and get diamonds and intel anyway. That's a really good idea. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to test a little bit. It's going to be hard to test because they're on my confusion account and uh, haven't attacked on that account, so nobody's going to be attacking me. So uh, It's going to be a pain. But if that were the case, guys, uh, okay, so we're gonna drop our heavy or grenadiers back here towards the back so they don't go walking up right next to the flot sams. Um, if it were the case, that would be a crazy intel generator. Crazy intel generator. Okay, please walk in range. I'm rooting. Dang, wow, it didn't hurt any of my grenadiers. We did lose a few. Two, four. Uh, six. We lost six grenadiers, but um, in the end, guys, troops that have a high amount of range, enough to stay out of range of the blast, and troops that have high amounts of HP are gonna win. And you could have easily realized that, like I did at the start of the video, but it's still fun to test and see troops die against Flot Sams. <laughs> This uh, whole series, guys, so much fun, but honestly, just me watching troops die to flawed Sams or to prototypes. That's what it comes down to. And it's fun to watch troops die to flawed Sams. Don't get me wrong here. So, Scorchers, definitely gonna win. There's pretty much no way we're gonna lose a Scorcher battle here. So, um, yeah, we'll just drop our Scorchers. One prototype I never did was, one, the damage amplifier, which for obvious reasons it wouldn't be a fun video, and two, the grappler hook. Should I do the grappler hook as a video? That is the question. Anyway, we did lose a scorcher because, um, no we didn't. That was just a flawed sand blowing up. Okay, same animation effect. Anyway, we took down the base, didn't lose any troops, weren't even wounded any didn't even wound any troops which is explainable and now we have two more two more troops left we have the cryoneers which is next and we have the medics I mean no not the we have two more troops left the cryoneers which I'm loading up now 
and the critters the gumboat energy critters i always do it guys it's uh we're gonna be interesting let's do this so cryoneers are obviously obviously gonna lose <laughs> i'm excited to see what will happen if the time it takes to blow up after it's destroyed is gonna be slowed down from the cryoneer freeze range but um cryoneers dealing some damage here not much but dealing you know a little bit of damage but again not much it doesn't help that the flot sams deal splash damage but uh the crowners are able to freeze these flot sams so they fire at a very very slow rate but we're gonna start losing some and it's gonna it's gonna be an l for my for my poor crown ears we're gonna we're gonna take down a flot sam for them help them out a little bit here we'll see if it's slowed down at all i don't think it was slowed down but yes the crown ears not able to pull off the w so one last troop let's do this attack we'll get some critters out and headquarters or try to take down the flot sams well there's no way we'll be able to take down the flot sams anyway so we'll just drop them on the headquarters and see the splash damage from the mortars i guess no from the flawed sams just completely wipe out the army so that was it for the video guys i hope you did enjoy it all troops versus the flawed sams that is the end of the series until we get new prototypes or could also do a grappler hook video which would be interesting but um yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys i hope you did enjoy it if you did be sure to drop a like as always I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.